Yes. How do you feel about broke men? Yo. <laughs> Just like <that. laughs> No, because I wanted to know. But I want no, you yourself. asking the real question. So, how do you feel about broke men? And mind you, I want to know you. Like, yes. yeah, tell me what you think. So for me, I'm not really quick to say broke. Mm. I, I don't like to quickly jump at broke because broke is very subjective. Like mm. someone could think a guy who drives a polo and lives in an apartment is broke. Is broke. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And for me, I could be saying, ah, that guy, ooh, I, he's somewhere, I can work with that. He has something. Yeah, he has mm. something, you see? Mm. And I feel like that polo, me, I don't even have a polo. So the fact that you have something, my brother, Sana. to me, you are doing something, you're doing the most, you know? Mm. So I'm not very quick on that. So for me, it's like, at least have a job. Say, mm. this is what I'm doing, and this is where I want to go. Yeah. At least have you know, a place to stay. If you don't have a place to stay, have a car. Like, have one of them, at least. <laughs> but if you don't have you a know? house, have a car. At least have one of them. Are, are you judging me, girl? No. <laughs> oh, you're well, just what's, what's your mind? I'm the last one to judge. Yes. What's good in the Up Close Hood? It's your girl, Valesa. What's going on? It's the one and only independent variable, your boy, Des Lee. And a welcome to the first episode of the Up Close Podcast, guys. Ah, uh, uh, Palisa. Uh, uh, is it not the second? Oh my God! You see, you are too excited. That's the thing. Oh my you are God! Too I apologize, guys. Oh. I was like, am I wrong? Because I heard it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the whole time I kept saying episode two, episode two. Yeah. Episode That's what we're saying. I'm sorry, guys. Welcome to the second episode of the Up Podcast. Oh yeah. And we've got a very special guest. Oh yeah. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi guys, my name is Tiche. You guys probably know me from TikTok. Mm. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you guys for having me. Of course. Of course. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. No, <laughs> man, we're happy to have you. We're happy to have you. <laughs> and, you know, we thought that ish, before we start the podcast, you know, we're just mm. going to roll with it. We might just do like a few confessions, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So okay. we want to integrate our old confessions mm -hmm. with this podcast. So just a little mm -hmm. icebreaker. We don't know what we're going to hear. Because you people out there, you live life in some other way. <laughs> but, so... All I'm going to say to Sile is, be prepared, girl. Yeah. Be no, prepared. I've heard a few of them, and I'm like, yo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people are <laughs> living, <laughs> hey? People yeah. are living life. Okay, <laughs> so, I guess I'll start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, juicy, juicy, juicy. Also, I need to be kind of PG. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. I saw my ex posted that he was at a romantic restaurant with his situationship with my burner. So I went so we could bump into each other. Mm. That's the end, guys. This is, guys, That's well done. Mm. This is very... But mm. 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 some of you people, you don't want peace. Because mm. you know there's mm. ex out on the romantic ex. They're not with you anymore. Why are you going back? <laughs> yeah, Leave. my thing is also like to bump into him and do what? Like, so you're exactly. bumping into each other the and then intention. is he supposed mm. to see you and be like, hi, Bo? Because if he wanted back. to see you, he was going to say, he was going to message you so he didn't have to go all the way. Mm -hmm. You know so, what I'm getting from what you're saying? I'm so sorry for interjecting. Mm. You're not standing on business. They're just ignoring you. <laughs> honestly, because... Grain of salt, baby. Mm. Honestly, because... If he said, like, if it's over, it's over. So mm. you don't need to do all of that. Like, and, I know, and if he wants you back, people double back all the time. Mm. He knows where to find you, my sister. He knows where to find you. You see, that's, that's great advice. Or just don't talk to your exes. <laughs> it's simple. Like, Fact. just leave your... If an ex is an ex for a reason. That's why the word ex mm. is so disgusting. Ex. You know what I'm saying? It's so disgusting to stay <laughs> extinguished. Mm. Ex ex extinct. Ex <laughs> existed. Oh, ex okay. exfoliated. <laughs> like, le le leave <laughs> your exes alone, Yo, bro. For our sake, yeah, guys. No, if not please. for your sake, for our sake. For mm. our sake. Bro. And also, even the other girl, like, how do you expect her to see you? Because obviously, it's going to be like, mm. eh, that's my ex. You know, mm. some people are very open. And so now this girl is going to be like, how oh, Miguel hasn't moved on. So sometimes, also think of your dignity. Think of. You know, you know what I'm mm. think of ah, yourself ah, for at the end of the day. Ah, ah, <laughs> ah, no, mm's. no. Mm. Sometimes in life, yeah. man, you must leave your dignity at the door. <laughs> sometimes, like woman, two percent of the time. So you leave the dignity at the door to go and fetch the heartbreak inside. Is that <laughs> what you say? The heartbreak and the dignity, two for one. Okay, let me say, we'll give you like. The first two times to mess up and like not have dignity. That's but fair. after that, please pick up yourself and do the right oh, things. Stand up. 
you can't continue like this. Mm. You know, so we understand sometimes emotion, frustration, Sana. anger makes you do things. So salt, we'll give you like salt makes one you or do two things. chances. <laughs> Winter makes you do things. You, you guys, you guys, you, you confuse. And, and that's the thing, like, even when people are on some alcoholists, guys, when you're drunk, nah, and <laughs> when you're drunk, you relate, ever, ever, ever know it's, you don't drink? No, no, no. Cool. I'm really? not a fan. No, I'm really not a fan. So every mm. time people are like, yo, drinking, I'm like, yeah. yo, guys, what do you see in this thing? Mm. Like, I don't get it, but so continue. So you don't drink? No. Seriously. Substance. Substance abuse is not my thing. I'm not saying that. Like, oh, abuse is a strong like, word. <laughs> no, but I'm sure we categorize alcohol smoking under substance. Okay, so yes. I maybe am. let's remove the abuse. Please, Sorry about for that. my sake. Yeah. Because abuse, abuse is now like, <laughs> hey, overdoing like, it. Yeah. Me, yeah. So I do get. But the, mm. also, let's be honest. Like mm. people are not drinking to not get drunk. Like there's that certain sensation that you want when you drink. You have a goal. So no one is just drinking True. saying, you know, I'm just True. drinking for the sake of drinking. But you know how nice. <laughs> but you know how nice. A strawberry decor is like just <laughs> yes, but if you leave it at one or two and you're done and you're satisfied, but people uh, are always going for the climax, like I wanna go there. So that's why we would bad. say, Did you say the climax. You good? Des no, no. Uh, I, I want <laughs> well, to so say it's not in a bad, so it's not a bad thing. No, I was gonna say the like, synonym is very nice. Yes, so that's what I'm trying nice. to say. Like guys. I'm not judging you. I know you guys think I judge people, but I'm just saying that, like, you know, with these things, there's a lot to think about when you're engaging in them. For sure. Word. You know? So, Word. yeah, let's continue. Sorry. Let's, 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 let's get with some of these confessions. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh, mm, uh, 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 my friend. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry. Okay, so, I whisper sweet nothings to him and got on my knees and offered to give him the condo. Mm. Mm. Right. While he was gaming, he agreed, and I took off his pants. After rubbing it for about two minutes, I took out a razor, right, and placed it on and asked him a few questions. And every time he lied to me, I would threaten to cut a little bit off. A little bit oh. of. Oh, you know? <laughs> It would not. Or, hey, hey, hey. or was she trying to trim the hairs? I don't know. I'm also trying to. <laughs> because you no, no, no razor must be there okay. in the first place. Unless you're going to the mountains, no razor must be mm. there. So, my thing with this is. Oh my goodness. Now, okay, now, see here. See here. So, <laughs> oh you've you spoke a lot on women and the things that they do, mm. right? Mm. Alisa, you see what your gender is doing to mine. <laughs> Sana, what can I say? What can I say? Mm. What, what, what do you think of this? Like, what do you think about, you know, obviously my sister's been hurt and yeah. she's been lied to a lot, yeah. Yeah, clearly. But then do you think that... Uh, yeah. yeah. You see, the thing is that, like, unless you're in that situation, it's easy to judge and think that you know, someone is going too far, you know? Sure. So I can sit here and be like, oh, oh girl, that wasn't necessary. Mm. Like, mm. just throw him away. But if you, if this person has been doing this over and over and they've been manipulating you, gaslighting you, and, you know, gotten to the extent where you feel like you're losing your mind, yeah. then you're most likely to do things like this. Damn. So for me, I'm always going to look at, how oh, girl, what did this man do to you? Let's start there. Before mm. I judge your action, mm. let's just see, who I, what did this man do to you, my sister, please? I think the you know? recent thing that I learned, especially about this judging thing, guys, before, mm. oh, make sure that you've been in that situation. Mm. There is no need for you to be um, bringing across judgment. Mm. The, the best thing to do is to shut up. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, for her to bring out a razor, clearly he was king yeah. of up. Yeah. That's what she was I think the thing that her. I would say to her is, okay, Chomi, I'm sure now we are done, you you took it out, you did what you wanted mm. to do, like to be satisfied that you know you got your payback. So now how do we move forward from this, Chomi? How do we make sure that you're not in a situation like this again? Mm. So that's, that's how I would approach the girl, mm. like to speak to her and be like, but otherwise the situation, if she did it, she did it, guys, mm. you know? I think women are so nice, guys. You know the way they went to, oh, Chomi, how, what did he do? <laughs> because we feel I'm a mama, girls, Chomi, 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 do. Tell me I'm feeling for the genitalia. Oh, ah! Ah! I'm a shop. <laughs> guys, you know how also, guys, not a That genitalia thing makes you guys dizzy. That's the thing. So that's why we feel like we must just cut it. Maybe after that, you'll have some brains. You'll know how to use your brain because it's like you guys think with that thing. That's 
but but it has a mind of its own. You know when you wake up in the morning, you're ready for the day. Quick, you don't know. Ah, uh, it's not. It's sometimes and it that's does. what you spend the rest of the day thinking. Exactly. With. That's why we like. Ah, let's remove this thing. Then maybe your brains will come back. Mm-hmm. Did we lie? No lies detected. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it's fun. So okay, guys, thanks for those confessions. Thank you for for keeping it. Mm, that was entertaining. Ish. Okay, Miss Ma'am. We'd like to know more about you outside of your social media um, brand. Who yes. is Cite? Where what is does she, she do? Mm. What does she do? What does she bath with? Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? With my palm or <laughs> you know, what? We don't know. Yeah. Okay, so my name is Cite Cite Info, mm. but yeah, people call me Cite because mm. you know, simple, very easy. Yeah. Um, I'm 27 years old. Like people think I'm 21, 22, guys. I'm people. The small boys <laughs> mustn't come to my DM and be like, hey, see, they slide mm-hmm. in, they they slide in because they think, ah, oh, this one, mm. she's my size, but I'm not your my size. My size. I'm in Kenton, so I hear it all the time. So like, the, na- Niger- the Nigerians there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. So, get it together. <laughs> Sorry, Mama, please. Yes, please. so I, I basically used to work before I got into social media I was just working but I've always been passionate about having conversations Word. so from like four years back I had a YouTube channel and I was like okay maybe I'm not an influencer or what what but mm. in my spare time I just want to talk about things mm-hmm. you know so mm. also I've been very I'm such an entrepreneur like I've always been someone that wanted to work for myself mm. and do my own thing so because I was still young and I can't necessarily do the moves mm. to be there, like I was working, like, okay, I'm just going to work mm. and get my things in order. But I was doing the YouTube thing on the side. So right. the things that people know me know me about, the things that people know me for are things that I've been. So a lot of people feel like, yeah, hey, I just woke up and I just decided, mm. oh, guys, it's been stop doing this nonsense. Oh, yeah. So you've been cooking from the... And you know, I'm actually one of the people who <laughs> thought that, nah, you just woke up one day, did because even on your TikTok, you yeah. don't have a lot of videos. I mm. don't. I scrolled I like maybe twice don't. and I was already at the bottom. I'm like, how... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But I was also in, expecting like a lot. I'm just like, girl. Yeah. Yeah. But like you, just four that. years now. So I mean, you've been like. Yeah. Mm, no, I have uh, because I had that YouTube channel mm. and I had like 200 subscribers at mm. the time, but my views were like at a thousand or so. So, oh. so. then I lost. That, yeah. I lost that YouTube channel because I changed my number and things mm. like that, and yeah. I couldn't get it back. So because I'm so passionate, I started again. Mm. So this new YouTube channel that I have now that I'm. I turned it into a podcast mm. is my me continuing from that. But also like with what you were saying, I a lot of people feel like, I oh, girl, you just came yesterday. Why are you doing all these numbers? Why mm. you you know? So sometimes I'm just like, people don't really hate me if I can put it that way. It's just that they feel like, hey girl, you're coming to take our shine, Pela Wena. We've been that. laboring, yeah. you know, we've been making videos. Yeah. Other girls that have been doing the same videos that I've been, you know, talking about the same things. But now it's like this girl that just came yesterday is doing these numbers and mm. everyone is like, oh, you're so smart, you're so smart. What about me that mm. I've been doing and it for? I don't know that it takes a lot of things to get to it really does. consistency. Mm. It really does. Having your own train of thought. Yes. Like, yes. Mm. And so really being authentic. Things, yes, mm. being authentic because I I didn't want to... I know that my approach is very blunt, da, 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 mm. but it's very much who I am. Mm. So I have a really strong personality. Mm-hmm. So mm. <laughs> I call it... Listen, let me tell you, right? <laughs> so while... while mind you, I've come, I came across your videos before. We were like, you know, let's get CC on the podcast, right? Yeah, now, yeah. on your videos, you come off very, like... I don't want to lie to you, my sister. You scared me. Hey, sometimes I see your <laughs> I video and I put the phone here. Like an older yeah. sister just... You know what I'm saying? It's like you're just there like... You know you sometimes. You know what I get. But now guys. when you come here and, and I'm like, man, you cool, man. Like yes. you so like you so calm. So like it makes me think, right? In the dating scene, how is that like for you? Especially with Ooh. your social media presence. People know you for what you speak about. Men love you. Don't I what men love you. Love you. They love you. But I've always thought like, no, man. Because you usually engage in these serious topics, yeah. I wonder how is dating like for you? Mm. And also like I'll get to the other question yes. later, Marco. Yes. Um, I've been getting a lot of male attention because men claim that these women are rare. And for me, I'm just like, I feel like there's a lot of women that are like me. It's just that they're not on TikTok Mm. saying those things. Mm. So with the women that relate to me, they're like, girl, this is what I say all the time. Mm. This is what I think all the time. So the attention is coming from men feeling like, yo, this girl, she's a rare breed. And, you know, she's telling her gender. But I think that... (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> telling it to enter. Oh, she's coming for them. Yeah. But, but the thing is that um, a lot of, in the, in the dating retrospect, mm. that's the right word, a lot of guys like the idea of me. So you like the idea mm. of a woman that it's is like, you know, mm. I know these facts and I know the right things and I do the right things. But if you had to be with me, can you handle that? Mm. Can you meet me at that intellectual level? Mm. Because exactly. you're going to say, mm. this girl, she's beautiful. What, 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 what. But when I talk to you and I'm like, hi, there's so one, two, three, four, five. And you're I'm like, uh, and I'm like, uh, shit, you know, yeah. you know potato salads and you know, <laughs> and, <you're> like, <laughs> and you this know, is what like, men like to do. I hear you, and I'm like, uh, uh-uh, I don't need that. I don't need someone to tell I me. Hear you, see, see. Oh. They just say, I hear you. Mm, or you mm, send mm, them mm. like a whole paragraph. They respond <laughs> to one line. You told him, I mean, what thought that at some point you mentioned already, and I was 26. The response is no. I was actually twenty five. But oh, what, about else? Damn, what about everything else? What about everything else? Damn, that you I were twenty five. <laughs> you know what I mean? You tell me. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, man. Mm, I so hear I've you. always found it very tricky to in the dating space. So I've always been aware of the fact that the way that you talk to me will show me whether you see me, you idolize me, mm. or you really care to know me. Ooh. You know. So your approach, if you're coming to me with that. You also say, I love you. Please mm. know that me, I'm not one of those guys. They're already explaining in the beginning. Mm. That means that you're, you're seeing me in a certain light. Mm. I like men that come to me with an open mind. Pretend mm. you don't even know that I do that. Like I For say sure. those things yeah. when I'm on TikTok. Mm. Just come and be like, hey, hey, Cicely, how are you? Just want to talk to you. Like, mm. you know, just be casual so that I know that, okay, this guy is not here for the mm. idea of Sikhle. Mm. He's here to get to know Sikhle, mm. you know? See, gents, I've been seeing in the comments, they're like, we must portray this one with oh. our lives. Sikhle, you are so amazing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm looking at you guys, and I'm like, she doesn't want to hear the sweet nothings. Yeah. <laughs> she no. wants to eat, you know, chicken with mukhodu and mm. say hi. Mm. How are you? Am I, I'm right this, there. <laughs> they must feed you mukhodu. Yeah, no, they must. You get what I'm saying? Because <laughs> like, the same ones that say, we must protect her. If I say, when I, you see this thing of you, thinking in this way as a man. Why do you think this way? Mm. Now all of a sudden you don't want, you don't feel like I should be protected because I'm coming for you. Mm. Mm. I must be protected when I'm talking about other people. But when it comes back to you, it's now a it's, it's a different story. Mm. So I, I'm not really, like I don't care for it that much because I know that you, you won't back it up. If I had to come and say, hey, wait, nah, now we are talking about you, leave yeah. women, leave other things. You're going to say, hey, my sister, are you see now? Yeah. Please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You had a nah. follow-up question. I had a follow-up. So mm. uh, along the lines of the dating pool, Nessie here. So, mm. so certain certain women within just just South Africa and Jay, you know, have certain types. You know what I'm yes. saying? Beards must connect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they must be tall. They must not like because me, my legs are dangling right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm thinking like, what is your type? It was just a fun question. I thought of like, what's your type? Do you have a type? What do you think about types? Okay, so for me, um, I'm not very, no, let me not lie and say I'm not strict on physical looks, but I'm not really that type of girl to say like, yo, you must be handsome. Like you must be like, oh, yeah. when you look at you, you must, you know, ugly, <laughs> yeah, and be. What? What? Uh, guys, I think you heard like girls on Twitter saying that like, they want guys medium, ugly, yeah, and you don't want this brown. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and like you know too much attention but mm, mm. yeah so i'm not really like uh, too pressed but i do prefer guys that are like taller than me mm, mm. and like you know have something yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Have something there when yeah, you're standing i can feel like okay i'm the small mm. little girl next to you uh. and you know just so that i don't feel like <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure now I'm answering the physical. So you're asking from the physical perspective. Yeah, from a physical perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. I like to feel like a girl. Like, mm. you know? You're yeah, just a girl at the end of the Yeah. So I want to feel like when you hold me, I can feel already there's mm. arms there, mm. you know? And I can look at you and be like, yeah, you mm. see here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? So, so with, now, now we've spoke about physical, Sharp. You once made a video, I think, where you were talking about um, the concept of Bob the Builder. Yes. Where essentially, if you guys don't know what Bob the Builder is, it's like women who are with, you can correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. who, who are with men who are not as wealthy or who are still building mm-hmm. and you sort of like build with them. You know yes. what I'm saying? I think I'm correct. Right? Yeah. You have made a video on that. Okay, yes. How do you feel about broke men? Yeah. 
<laughs> just like <laughs> No, because I wanted to know. But I want no, you're yourself. asking the r- real question. So, how do you feel about pro questions. questions? And mind you, I want to know you. Like, yes. yeah, tell me what you think. So for me, I'm not really quick to say broke. Mm. I, I don't like to quickly jump at broke because broke is very subjective. Like mm-hmm. someone could think a guy who drives a polo and lives in an apartment is broke. broke. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And for me, I could be saying, ah, that guy, who I he's somewhere, I can work with that. He has something. Yeah, he has mm. something, you see? Mm. And I feel like that polo, me, I don't even have a polo. So the fact that you have something, my brother, Sana. to me, you are doing something, you're doing the most, you know? Mm. So I'm not very quick on that. So for me, it's like, at least have a job. Say, mm. this is what I'm doing, and this is where I want to go. Yeah. At least have you know, a place to stay. If you don't have a place to stay, have a car. Like, have one of them, at least. <laughs> but if you don't have <laughs> you know, a house, have a car. <laughs> at least have one of them. Are, are you judging me, girl? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, what's what's on your I mind? I'm the last one to judge. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, just um, piggybacking off of um, Dez's question, mm. how do you feel about uh, 50-50 relationships? Mm. Hi, I just feel like they're a bit unrealistic, especially if you're... Oof. I don't think you could ever 50-50, I'm not going to lie. Especially uh-huh. if you're coming from the point of, I'm a woman, you're a man. Mm. And what do I expect from you as a man? What mm. do you expect from me as a woman? Because if we're saying 50-50, then we mustn't necessarily think of it from a monetary sense, For but sure. also like how the relationship is going to function. So you must be very careful when you think of 50-50. But if we're mm. talking about money, mm-hmm. I just think it's not realistic because... What if now nah, I don't have money? Mm. Do you understand? So why are you John? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, why are you? <laughs> but I'm saying like in, in, in situations mm. where we have to go on a date. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. You as a man. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, you, 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 you as a man have to be. If I'm seeing you as a provider, then you have to sort of cover that most of the time, if I can put it that way. Mm. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to chip in ever. Mm. It's just that I'm going to cover in other areas if I can put it that way. Yeah. So it's never going to be like 50-50, but let's have our roles, guys, because I'm not doing that. Mm. Like, let's you. have our roles. I hear you. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, guys, which century are we living in right now? Mm. 26 or something like that. Don't You're know. not ill, guys. I think <laughs> this is. I feel like both male or female or mm. whatever you identify as can play either role. Mm, okay. So... I had a conversation with a friend a while back and we were talking about the whole 50-50 situation Mm. and he mentioned, or he asked me um, if I think that men can play the whole nurturing role and Mm. loving and passionate and vice versa with the Mm. woman, I guess being the provider. Mm. Right. So in in terms of Mm. 50-50, in that sense, you don't, how vibe you on? Because me, I believe in being a woman and if something comes naturally to me, nurturing comes naturally to me. Uh, so if you're going to ask a man to be a natural, natura, it means that he's going to have to put in the effort to nurture because it doesn't come naturally to him. I mean, I could be a stay-at-home husband. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. If I have to learn, it's fine. Mm. Baby, go go work. Go work. Me, I'll be there. But also, most it depends mm. on how you were raised. Mm. Essentially, That's a man can be a provider and strong and whatnot, mm. but he can also be a nurturing. Nature, yeah. mm. And all the, the cute things, I guess. Yeah, the problem is to say that you must be a natural full-time. Mm. Like, full-time, that's what you do. Mm. Absolutely not. Yeah. So I can be like, because I'm a woman, it's natural for me, so I can be a nurturer. Mm. But it doesn't mean that I can't pull through with providing. Mm. It's sure. just not going to be my main thing. Mm. Mm. And I think that's the, that's the thing social media has sort of... It, it doesn't, like, explain this part. Where you were saying, mm. Bellis, for example, like... It depends on who you're with in that relationship. The dynamic of the relationship is different. The overall idea is that one does this, one does that. Nurturer, provider. But it could go either way. Mm -hmm. It could be man, man, woman, 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 man. And you know, but social media always makes it seem like as a man, you must, and mm. as a woman, you must. And that's. push that narrative down your throat. And that's the thing. And I wanted to ask secretly, like, so. The influ- what do you think the influence of social media has had on our generation you know mm. what i'm saying because you even mentioned for example with um my sister the 16 year old one you know yes. there was a chat you were like you know yeah. we should hold um influencers older influencers accountable and so Basically, on for like yeah. i'm using that as reference even though it's not in the same thing but what do yeah. you think the influence of social media has had on the way people walk navigate through life mm. essentially 
I think social media finds a way to blur things. For sure. Like, hey, For there's sure. no structure, guys. Mm. We Ooh. can't we can't talk about one thing and be open-minded to something else. Mm. Do you understand? So if I'm talking, if we're having a conversation like that one that we're having about the girl, 16-year-old girl, mm. that specific conversation has so many things around it. And so social media doesn't allow you to be able to look at one perspective and focus on that perspective and be like, mm, mm. what is this person saying, 100%. And then go to another one and say, okay, what are you saying, 100%. Mm. What it does is that if you're talking about something, I must bring up something else and be like, hey, mm. you're not saying this, you're not doing this, you're oh, not sure. referring to this. Why don't you listen to what this person is saying, the specific thing? Mm. And that's why I was even talking about in another um, video, I was talking about the whole idea of commitment. Because now we have people talking about struggle, love, bigger zilling. Now mm. we don't know what commitment is. Mm. Because sure. you can't listen to someone saying, I struggled. And then listen to someone say, commitment. Woo! Do you understand? Now you blur Ooh. them and you're like, commitment means struggling. It means... It, re, re. So can we talk about learn how to look at one thing at a time? So because a lot of people are saying things, everyone is opinionated, re, re, it's so hard for us to be very um, critical mm. and very... I don't want to say... But so, to be one-track-minded, if I can put it that way, mm, like you can look at so. one thing, observe it and be mm. like, Balesa, you see, when you're talking mm. about money, you are right. When Palisa is talking about money, you can't bring in relationships, you can't bring mm -hmm. in another thing because that's not what Palisa is talking about. For sure. Do you understand? Yeah. So I think that it's very, it has messed up with our minds and therefore it messes up with the way we live. Wow. If I can put it that way. Wow. When you, were, so when you were cooking. <laughs> he is so good. When you were cooking. <laughs> when you were cooking that statement, because it made me think, man, listen, on that video, like, I'm going back to that video, right? Mm. Where you mentioned that, you know, mind, you're talking about that one thing. Yeah. But people came in with their whole, no, but we need to hold the pasta accountable. Yes. Well, we need to hold this. But they're not listening to what you're saying. saying it's not yes. like you're, you're completely discarding the whole, in, the, the whole situation. 100% and not. I'm starting. Now, and I ain't gonna lie, see, I'm be honest with you. Mm. <laughs> when I saw that video, I was like, no, she's wrong. Yeah, she's yeah, yeah. wrong. Mm. Like, I get what, that. You're, you're, well, why would you do that? I now, get as that. you're explaining, I wanna apologize I, publicly. I get that, I, no, because no I'm, I'm, I'm understanding the perspective in which you're coming at, and I yes. didn't, and I think. When I look at social media now in any video, I'm going to look at it like that. Like, okay, cool. Mm, what is this person what's this saying? person talking about? Because also I did it deliberately because I saw that there were other girls that spoke about the perpetrator. Mm. Mm. And they made so much sense. And I'm like, girl, you killed it. You're so right. Yeah. So then now when I'm talking, they're like, uh-uh. Mm. You must. Why? Because there's so many. Because when it comes to your content, I feel like but they listen to hear but not to understand yes, what you're saying yes they don't so want to comprehend so that's why it. there are so many think pieces about what you have to say yes or because that's why I don't even stitch other people's videos mm. like if you can see because I'm not trying to fight with what Balesa is saying mm. Mm. Balesa you said what you said girl you're and so that's right that's your opinion that's your opinion exactly. that's fine mm. but everyone wants to fight what I'm saying but I it's like it's one sided like everyone is fighting but I can sit there and respect mm. other people's opinions and be like okay this girl with the brain that she had, with what she could come up with, she killed it. Thank you, girl. Mm. So now I'm coming with my thing, you know? Mm. So I, I feel like I want to be... Th there's a reason why I can't conform to people saying, see, they say this, why don't you say mm. this? Because when are you going to learn? Mm. If I conform, then I'm just feeding you guys still having this blurry mm. idea of how to consume things. Mm. And I feel like I need to teach you that, girl, mm -mm. This is how things go. So I'm going to teach you in my way, basically. <laughs> Does it ever, like, whenever you are in the space mode or create that, mm. taking into account the negative um, mm. comments that come your way all the time. Right. I mean, if you will go onto your comment section, no, mm. ah, we see it all the time. Mm. Mm. Does it ever affect you when it comes to you wanting to bring a specific point, point across? yes. Um, I think going back to me having a strong personality, mm. it's in general, it's not easy to make me do something. It's not mm. easy to make me feel something. You know, I'm always very conscious of mm. that. But in the beginning, I was very disheartened because my, my target audience is women and I love women, but 
they didn't get it that way. So when I got those comments like, oh, girl, you trying to please men. You pick me. And, and I understood because, yeah, yeah, men are there. Vele, vele, that's what people are going to think because men are there. They're mm. enjoying this. They are the only ones that love this conversation, you know? Mm. So I was like, okay, this is disheartening, but I feel like I need to continue because someone is going to hear me eventually. So people that's like Des that true. said, that said, oh, Sisle, actually, hey, I was judging you. But now I'm like, ooh, okay, girl, I hear what you're saying. I believe that, like, people are going to come around, you know? A lot of it is just misunderstanding, guys. Mm. Like, you're Word. just not understanding. And that's why I decided to start a podcast also, because mm. you see in spaces like this, you can tell that, ah, uh, this girl must... She's free, she's what that, mm, but on TikTok, mm. I don't give off that vibe because it's just two minutes of yeah. me having to go off. I know, the moment we see that, that, that thing in your bedroom, yeah, the, 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 the headboard, yeah, when we see that headboard, we're just like, it's about to go down. Yeah. 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 But it's not my entire personality, mm. so that's why I'm like, I want to go to a platform that can release that side of me where people can see. So I feel like, yeah, a lot of it is because another analogy that I had is that mm. if you're in a dark room for a long time, let it cook. It's very, very, very dark. Ne? So what happens with your eyes is that in dark spaces, your pupils shrink, they go down. Mm -hmm. ne? So then now if I flash a light at you mm. and you've been sitting in this room for an hour, is it not going to hurt? It's going to sure. hurt because your pupils haven't adjusted. Mm. So I feel like with my um, conversations, I just came to a dark room and I put on the light. And I didn't give and people... And you said things that people didn't want to hear. Yes, they were mm. not ready for. So their pupils are still adjusting bit by bit. And I see more women engaging with my content mm. and saying they love it. So I know that all oh, the people, it's, it's adjusting. Mm. So, yeah, no. You guys are in a dark room there where you are. <laughs> Ladies she pay for that first date. She just switched on the lights, man. First date pay, light. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? D date short men, light. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't uh, do broke niggas. Light. Don't oh, do broke men. Light. <laughs> Take that broke guy. Give him <laughs> your car. <laughs> Light. Hey, I don't know if you guys know about the conversation that's happening on TikTok now. Uh, the men versus bear thing. Yes. Um, would you rather? I actually yeah. wanted to hear your opinion about that. I don't know. I, I feel like... What, 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 is, what, what is the conversation so about So essentially, um, on TikTok, someone just ask the question, if you were a woman mm. and you were stuck in the woods, would you rather be stuck in the woods with a bear or, or a, a man? man? A bear? <laughs> and women are or choosing a bear. Or a man. Or a man. Listen, okay, Sana, before that, and before you say anything about what you think and whatnot, yeah. bear or a man? <laughs> oh my God. Bears eat people, by the way. <laughs> Bears poop in the woods. Okay, let me not front. I, I would choose a man, but I understand. Oh, I understand where people are coming from. For also, sure. like maybe please educate me a bit on this mm. trend. Are they? Is it coming from the place of a men are worse? Like they for sure. Because there's for someone us. else who actually put in statistics. I'm not sure about okay. the numbers, but statistics. I think with the bears, yeah, um, the amount of kills was around 4,000 oh. in a year. When it came to the statistics, uh, statistics, statistics, hey, statistics around men, no. it was in the 100 Ks. Mm, damn. So, and also that if you take into account, I mean, the things that we've been through as women, mm. um, yo, the list could go on. I think a lot of things have... Um, Led up to the answer of I actually choose a bear. Yeah. But also, yeah. I mean, Untombi from Big Brother said she was left at the zoo and she got raised by a bear. <laughs> <laughs> and she's still fine. And she's doing all right. She is still fine. Okay. Mm. I understand. What do you have to yeah. Say about that so trend? I understand where women are coming mm. from. I really do. Because also, me, like a big part of it is coming from the point of these men don't even protect us, guys. Like, mm. speak on it. I've been in situations where I'm like, there's three men there. Like, why aren't you coming to help me? Like, why aren't you coming mm, to do something? Mm. You know? So with my answer, my answer is just me being very realistic. Mm. But if we had to look at it from that perspective of these men, guys, they don't do anything for yeah. us, honestly. And that's why I was very frustrated also with that, with the 16-year-old video thing. Mm. Like, I don't want to hear men going off because if I'm walking on the side of the street and you see a man is trying to say, hey, baby, trying to touch me, you won't do anything. Mm. So don't act like you care because we don't see your actions. And that's why I feel like I understand women so much because these men that are supposed to protect us, they're supposed to lead us, yeah. they, they're, not, they're doing not doing it. Doing so that. rather be mm. with the baby because what's the difference? You know? 
I mean, the difference is in a couple of thousands. <laughs> when it comes to the kills, yes, I mean, I was, when I heard the statistics, I was mm, so shocked, dude. Because also, lie. apparently, bears are more afraid than uh, of humans. Mm. Some, some, oh, okay. like you know, when, like when, when you brought up this chat, I was like, ah, here you go, slandering my boys. But then you brought up that number, <laughs> ne? and I'm like, yeah, Oof. No. and then you brought up the chat of like how men don't protect or don't even speak out on these things. Mm. And I've thought about this before, and it's kind of like. There's there's a there's a huge disconnect mm. with men when it comes to you know violence against women and all that mm. type of stuff because it's sometimes not personal right mm-hmm. and and that's the thing it's like I've always said to guys no it's not personal you don't care about it until it's your own mom mm. until it's your own sister exactly. you know what then I'm they saying they want to become defensive and, and also all of that. boy I've I've always said this to guys ask mm. your like as sensitive as you can be. Mm. Ask your female friends or ask your parents, ask your mother, ask your aunts if they've ever been assaulted, right? Sure. Mind, they're not going to tell you. And, and there's something I had to discover mm. for myself. I, I, one day, dude, I woke up. I'm talking to one of my homegirls. I'm mm. like, Doug, random question. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. I'm like, have you ever been, you know, assaulted? And she was like, yeah. She mm. told me, she didn't, she didn't say, yeah. She said, how many times? Mm. And it's like, mm. in that moment, it sort of clocked in my head, mm. right? It shouldn't have. Unfortunately, it did. Mm. I was like, this thing is real. Unfortunately, no, it's, it's so so unfortunately, so real. and it's because they, I was so desensitized to it. Mm. There was a lack of personal connection, and you know, it's so. And I think about this for all the other men out there. That's kind of like because it ain't you, bro. Mm. You're not clocking it, mm. and you're not taking it from like a human humanistic approach. Listen to that English <laughs> humanistic, humanistic approach. <laughs> yeah, that these are people. These are people. You know, they they, they live life. They yeah. same as you. It's kind of like. No one should have to go through any of that. But it's happening. No, and it's so scary how many women have actually been assaulted. Yeah, I know. Um, abused. It's a question mm. of who and hasn't. Oof, mm. We just have to say who hasn't. Because mm. if you can come as a woman and say, I mean, it's never happened to you, then we want to know where do you live. Yeah. You know, yeah. where do you live? Where, in do, you, what where do you live you freely? Mm. That's the thing. You know, another thing, um, when I was like going through this trend with the bear versus um, man, mm. someone made a stitch and was like, a bear's not going to ask me what was I wearing. Eesh. A bear's not going to grope me as I'm walking. Mm. A bear's not going to cat call me. A mm. bear's not going to follow me home. Mm. Once a bear sees me, it's going to run away. Yeah. Mm. Whereas with men... And guys, I feel like th- these conversations have to be had, honestly. Yeah, word, for sure. word, word. With men, like you're saying, a lot of them are very desensitized to yes. this situation. And that's a privilege. Mm. Yo, to be Sana. desensitized, mm. to to be disconnected. Mm. Yo, you're literally not a, a part privilege. of the reality that mm. we're living in. Exactly. You're not. And ugh, mm. dude, yeah. it's a lot, honestly. I think that um, that's the, the, the pain of it. And when I was doing my videos, like a lot of people felt like, I didn't care about things like that. Mm. Um, because there's this other video that I made, the Mrs. White one. Mm. People were already saying I'm a rape apologist and it had nothing to do with that, mm. you know? So mm. I feel like a lot of the times men could also feel like, ah, they're just being attacked, you know? Mm. Because even us, like the conversations, sometimes they just blurred. We just mix it and we just make it one thing. We can't, like I was saying, have one conversation at a time. So when we're having conversations like this and we can deep dive fully mm. into it, then you'll be able to see that, oh, okay, no, Sisha can relate, or yeah. women feel this thing. Women, you know, go through these things. Sure. So I think also the way we communicate is very important. Communicating these things is very important because if you're going to come to men and say, all men are rapists, all mm. men are what they're... Do you understand what it does mm. to them? Mm. Even though as much as we can put general, generalize it like that because we know that 90% of the statistics of women are the mm-hmm. ones that are abused. So really, we can just say men are abusive, right. you know? But then if we want to reach and make an impact and make sure that men are listening, Nati, we must know how to speak, you know, mm. in such a way that we know that we can be received properly. But at the end of the day, guys, we're going to say what we want. Men just need to listen, period. Word. And like have just conversations with yeah. Yeah. Conversations, yeah. yeah. Mm. Men will talk about everything but mm. the elephant in the room. Mm. Mm. Of basically respecting women. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's crazy. And we mustn't have to spoon feed you this information. We mustn't have to. That's your, if I want to speak out of anger, you must take it. Mm. You know? That's what I was saying. As much as, yes, we need to find better ways to communicate this thing, mm. but from the side of being a victim, from the side of being, you know, hurt by this thing, in any way that I say it, you must just take it. Yeah. You know? Mm. That's facts. Ooh. Mm. 
I think CK should start a political party. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah, lie to yeah, you. a lot of people say that. Like, girl, you know we'll vote saying? for you. Like, we, we, we vote for you for real. <laughs> CK Freedom Fighters, hey, CK hey, National hey, Congress. Hey, hey. Guys, CK with government things, I don't know. CK and friends. I don't know. The CK I know human alliance. things. I know human relations, yeah. human, mm. the government ones. Ah, But if you want to make me maybe like a spokesperson, then mm. I can speak because speaking my thing. But don't think, what if even me, I'll eat the money? Because once you are there. Mm-hmm. Oh, when, ah, once ish, you are ish. there. Hey. But at least you're honest. At least we yeah, know Yeah, like going to the eat. temptation is going to be there because even me, I'm hungry, guys. <laughs> even me, I'm hungry. So <laughs> so don't expect to go to this teacher that you're seeing now. Mm. It's gonna be the same one there because money does things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nah, my guys, ah, this life is, is, is something else here. No, I can't it lie really to you. Is. But at least like th- and that's the great thing is that like, at least we're able to have conversations about this. Yeah, you know, I know 100%. And different perspective. Here as a man, as I was sitting here, I was just listening to you what you guys were saying, and I'm like, mm. there's a lot of pain that comes you? into the words that you're speaking. You mm. know what I'm saying? Um I can speak from the pain, which is like secondary of like my love for you guys as people. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? But with you guys, it's like you gotta walk over. You, like you're gonna look over your shoulders mm, everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Can't even walk at night. Can't even see. I I have the privilege. Mm. I do have the privilege. Yeah, I have no, the privilege sure. to do a lot of things. Mm. No. I can wear a crop top and nobody want me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys, you can, you can be fully clothed yes. and it's already a risk. You get what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. So it's kind of like, ish, boy, like I. It's but I also want to, also sorry to cut you, no, no, I also want to commend the men that are trying, guys. Mm. That's also my other thing is that, like, we're not going to overlook you. Yes, we For are. Sure. Hey, we've got many problems with men, but mm. the men that are trying, because I know a lot of good guys, guys, same, yeah. that, same. that would say, hey, Sisha, are you okay? Are you okay? Are mm. you comfortable? Are you da, da, da. And I'm like, Yo, if I can take these men and multiply them. Multiply. Please. You guys can just multiply you guys and... Because we know that, like, you guys are so rare. Like, even for you to sit here and be like, yo, guys, I, I understand. Like, and shoot also me if you want to. And also open to actually hearing what we have to say mm. as women who have experienced this. Mm. Love and decenter you. yourself. Don't put yourself and be like, ah, but me. Because that's a lot of things that men do. That, mm. ah, it's not all of us. Ah, it's not me, Moss. Yeah, so yeah, now, like, but like, we can't say not you, anything. So why are you defending yourself, right? Yeah, it's just keep quiet. It's yeah, not you sharp. <laughs> All right. Like, yeah. Don't don't like, Listen and be like, mm, and always ask like, what can I do to be better? Because mm. even to for you, like you are listening. Mm. Yes, you're doing, but then you could always do more. Yeah. So maybe now you're listening, but next time step it up. And when you see a lady being cat called and say, hey, gents, ah, uh, mm. you know, don't wait like until it's your mom, your sister, yes. like guys, just protect women. Like, Protect please, each other, Jay, please. Yeah. Please. Otherwise, we will continue to choose the bear. Mm. We will continue to Real, choose the bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My perspective on this bear, human, cha- bear, man, Ben Mang, I don't know. But that, that, that perspective has yeah, changed no, so much. You, from I when didn't know about it. Thank you for telling you're me. You're welcome, like, guys. You're yo, welcome. I know life, 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 life is not the way. Mm. But like, uh, speaking, I'm thinking now, right? Mm-hmm. And it's something I thought about. As much as you said, like, you love women, you know what I'm saying? You know, you not as much. I'm saying it like you don't. <laughs> like, like you've No, you have to make it clear. You have to make I it clear. Mm. Like you, uh, but I've seen a lot of comments, right, where women are like, how come you never be addressing the men? How come you don't? Mm. Da, 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 da? And, and actually, on, to on, speak, for, tell them, tell them, what, what's, what's up? Mm. The thing about that is that I'm, I'm a woman, so I'm always coming from a woman perspective. Mm. And I feel like men are not my responsibility. Oh, speak on it. Men are not my responsibility. Mm. I'm a woman. Women are my responsibility. Here, Balisa is my, is my girl. Mm. Me. And if I have to say something, I'm going to be like, hey, Balisa girl, did you check this? Once mm. the you, I don't care. Let your boys <laughs> tell you. <laughs> Real. Let your boys tell you. You know? you know? And I feel like social media has it the other way around. Like, why is it the other way around? Because, yes, I am not... I'm not being nice because I am, you know, coming with yeah, a. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very being very corrective. Mm. But if I didn't care, why am I wasting my time? Like right. for me, it's like I wouldn't be here if I didn't care. Mm. So that's why I'm like, ladies, please stop being superficial, please. Mm. That's because what I want you, you to be better. By superficial. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Superficial is basically like not caring about things that matter. You care mm-hmm. about surface level things mm-hmm. that do nothing for you or anyone in life, mm-hmm. you know? So, yeah, so I'm always going to come from the point of these young girls that are 
watching this thing, these and young girls, and, I, and I need mm -hmm. them to know the truth, and I need them, and in order for me to get through to them, I must tell my sister Palesa that, hey, CC, please watch for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, mm -hmm. because it's not just me and you. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do what you want, granted, but you must know that there's kids coming mm -hmm. behind us, and we have no right to be like, these kids, where do you Real. learn these things Real. from? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. Word. They, they don't know that, you know? So what I'm trying to do is, because I'm trying to reach the younger kids, mm -mm. I have to tell my age, mate, age mates first and be like, hey, guys, let's stop this thing, let's mm. stop this thing, let's stop this thing. Mm. But, yeah, like I was saying, that when you get to know me more and you hear me speak more, you will see that I'm on your side. It's just that I'm not going to do it in a people-pleasing way mm. because people want you to be a people-pleaser. Guys, how many times when it's a woman conversation, we always have to say, period, yes, Come yes, girl. queen. I feel like you're coming at me, girl. Yeah. <laughs> they be like oh the rumor podcast. Yeah, no, you, no men should, 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 Yes. Yes, queen. Go like, queen. it's not always going to be like that. Like, being a girl's girl doesn't mean that you're always going to be like, yes, yes, mm. yes, at mm. all times. There's enough women doing that. I don't feel like I need to do that in that way. But I also, we must also realize that women are the ones that actually obsess over men because if I'm having a conversation and I'm saying this, you are thinking about a man. Why don't you tell a man? Why do men this? And I'm like, oh, where is it coming from? Because now we're talking about us, mm. the girls. Mm. And obviously we're going to add men in the conversation because they affect our mm. relationships. They affect our conversations. Mm. Yeah. So if anyone is on men's side, it's these women that don't want to hear me. They are mm. the ones on men's side because they are not listening to women conversations. They are mm. always trying to insert men in it. Mm. There's a video. Uh, okay, I hope we are done bashing <laughs> Ahmad Zodza. <laughs> There's a video you did about um, BBL culture. Yes, BBL jing. Oof. <laughs> Hectic stuff. Mm. But I agree with everything you said. Essentially, in that video you were talking about how people in the industry have normalized mm. this whole BBL culture mm. and how it's made us now look at ourselves bodies in a very different way. I mean, like, in our natural bodies. I, mm. I can't even lie. Like, I have moments where I'm just like, oh, if only I had, like, a slim waist and a mm. thick ass, maybe I could get the person I want. Yes. Maybe I'd c I could be more desirable. Mm. Let's talk about that, please, because, yeah. wow. The thing about that is that, like, I wasn't, I really didn't get in too deep about it. Mm. But when you look at things like this, again, you have to critically think mm -mm. that these women are in an industry where they need to be perfect because a thousand that's, percent. They have that's no media. Choice. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So that their jobs influence them considering and be like, okay, let me go get a BBL. Let me get liposuction. Because every time I take pictures, it has to be... Ah, Every time I do it, it's actually... Ah. If it's not the surgeries, it's the editing. Yes. Because you the have to look perfect yes. all, all the, the time. time. Exactly. Guys, we, we can't be perfect all the time. My goodness. <laughs> I, I don't even... Guys, we have sisters that um, look up to these influencers. These mm. And this is... Guys, again, this is not me coming at anyone who gets surgery and whatnot. I yeah. mean, Sana, I had a breast reduction. So, uh, okay. Yeah, do you? Mm. Sana. Mm. But anyway. So us as men, um, we, I can't even so, say, well, I had a date, but I can't yeah, say. Sana, you are just if, you. If you're going to get a BBL, I mean, by all means, go mm. get it. But you don't have the societal pressure to be perfect. Exactly. Mm. exactly. Men can just okay. be. You can mm. just exist. Unless you're short. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> you said it. But, but it's like, such a real chat. No, what you were saying. Key, yeah. yeah, I was just saying that we have like, I have a sister mm. who is on social media and she sees things like this mm. and she'll ask me like, dude, even uh, aside from the BBL thing, mm. skin. Mm. Yes. And she has like um, acne prone yeah, skin. Exactly. And I don't know how many times she'll ask me, oh, Spalisa, am I pretty? Mm. Because the, the, the notion that's being pushed forward on social media you have Perfection to have clear, yeah. smooth, silky skin. Mm. If you have one pimple, it's over for you. Mm. You need to have curves in the right places, a mm. teeny tiny waist, mm. and then you will be considered as one of the prettiest people. Yeah. Mm. I mean, if we look at the influences that we have, guys, it's seldom that you come across someone with a natural body. Mm. Mm. As in like me, something mm. like me or mm. something like Sihli over here. Mm. I don't know, dude. I feel like this conversation around representation and yes. bodies and 
Yes. Just existing in jail has to be had, guys. Please. No, for sure. Oh. Especially because that's why I was saying that if you look at it from that point mm. of, okay, these people have a pressure to be perfect, then I sort of detach because me, I work at ShopRite or I work way, way. So why, where is the pressure coming from? Mm. Because it's also true. if we're living in real life, these men, guys, they will shell you. I'm not going to lie. These men, they, don't they shell you. They don't care. You're wearing sweatpants. You don't have makeup on. They will shell you. They, they will care. love you. So it's men on social media mm. that are constantly be like, yo, 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 I love her. So, oh, she's so perfect. So you look at those comments and you're like, hey, I need to be like that in order for those men to like me. So do you guys think, and I want to know, okay, actually, who do you think the pressure then comes from? Is it the men from the social media? Is it the women within the industry? Or is it a combination of both? The male gaze, the, the male gaze, gaze. the You're male gaze, for sure. yeah. the male for gaze, sure. because me existing with just women, none of that would matter. Mm. I feel uh, like had we had like a, a world where it was just women, it wouldn't matter at all. Like BBLs, <laughs> liposuction, when uh, fat freeze, uh, when uh, cavitation. Uh, you guys have so when, much, yes. Because you also the need to that we do remember just that. for the male gaze. Mm. Mm. Guys, we need to remember everything for the that. women. We need to remember that the men are part of production. You see now, there's more men here mm. than women. <laughs> men, no, men. No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't lie, though. Did she I didn't lie? Listen, listen. We, 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 we got some production ladies out there. <laughs> they, they just, you know, they're busy. You know what I mean? But busy yeah, so even, even in the makeup industry, like when it's makeup, it's gay men, you know, that are mm. running the hair stars, the hair, the fashion. Gay men, Fact. men, mm. do you understand? Men are dominating these spaces. So if men are saying, hey, girl, we need that waist, we need that waist to be snatched, then that's what the standard is going to be. Mm. So that's why I was saying that the male gaze, when you're seeing men commenting on an influencer's thing and they're like, yo, she's hot, she's top 10 spec, she's a 10, she's a... Mm. Me sitting at home, an ordinary girl, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I want to be a 10. But and I don't what look does like it this take girl. to be a 10? A I need to look like this. Fat I need to be light-skinned. That's another conversation. Ooh, colorism, girl, don't even get me started. So it's like the male gaze. So mm. the minute, that's why I ended that video saying that, mm. guys, me, I've learned to love my body because it goes through so much. Especially Period. Especially as a woman. And it's carried you for girl, 27 years, dude. Yeah. And it's going to carry children and it's going to do this. And do you understand? So to put my body under so much pressure, me, I'm just grateful for health. That's all. And that's why I was reminding women, like, girls, your bodies go through the most. Just be grateful. You can move. You can run. That you can dance. So you can be alive. Sure. That's all that matters. I think it was yeah. DC Young Fly's uh, wife who, who died from trying from, to get, like, yes. a young, young. And I know at some point, Nikki's, Nikki's ass popped on stage. But <laughs> Excuse it, me? But Nikki's my girl. Nikki, Nikki was out there, my and kind of ball. And it was like, <laughs> yo. But... Do you get me? Like, but I'm speaking on the reality of like this. This stuff is dangerous, man. Yeah, like, it's, no, very. Oh, it's for the male gaze. It's, it's oh, dangerous. Guys. Just so that men can say you're a ten. No. Exactly. Decenter those people, please. Yes, if you ever need to decenter, decenter this. I know with this like with thing. me, it took a very long time for me to actually be comfortable in my body, and even with this, like being on camera, mm. at some point I stopped because I'm like yo, and it's not that. Abanya Bantu are saying anything. It's, it's, it's me it's you. thinking, this is what people think. Mm. Alisa, you're too big. You mm. can't do certain things because you look a certain way. Mm. And now I'm just like, I'm growing into it. And I really hope that ladies, please. when you're watching this, can I ask you a question on, tande. on you saying that like mm. uh, you had the breast reduction? Mm. Where was that coming from? Why did you feel the need to do that? What was the motive? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, mm. it was just vibes. You're lying. Alisa. <laughs> Uh -oh. I'm, lying. I'm not lying. Other women come saying, like, my back hurts. Like, you know, I want certain things to fit. Mm. So I thought maybe, like, you also have, like, where your back is hurting. Maybe, mm. like, your body is feeling strained mm -hmm. from that. No, I, Sana, there was a point in time where I was like, you know what? I'm just in the mood for a boob job. <laughs> and then I decided, me. Mm. Makes sense. And I went. And I did it. And oh, I was the happy. procedure. I'm so curious. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> I cut bad, yes. I it took, bad I think, six weeks to heal. Mm. Mm. And then after six weeks, I was back in the gym. And you're happy with how they did it. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> That's so, uh, the I can't remember what she said. No, and you are happy, she's like. <laughs> I don't know about is, that. Emma, 
no guys let me tell you something crazy for the first um couple of months after the surgery so after the six months of healing right, right, right. i had no sensation in my nipples Ooh. and we know when it's time for the <laughs> a lot happens right Hectic. I was just there, just, just vibes. You could put a toothpick in my nipple. And you'd feel nothing. You could have got yourself a nipple piercing for real. You wouldn't feel Exactly. That was the right time. First of all, I have there this weird right thing in my head where if I breastfeed, the milk is just going <laughs> to. But that'd be cool. Oh, if, if, if in case you have twins, then you don't got to use both. You just go like. <laughs> and I, hear that. That. <laughs> I hear that. But shame, it wasn't that bad. Well, we not, uh, it really wasn't that bad, honestly. Yeah. Mm, no. Okay. I can't believe it. Like, but okay, honestly, as long it was as just, just for vibes. Okay. Yeah, no, I wasn't because feeling I don't some like, type of way. Mm, mm. I don't like it coming from the point of, you know, I, mm. you didn't feel this way, no. If you have the right to do what you and want. And the money. Yes. Ooh, please have money. But the motive is very. Oh, so you got that, the huh? motive like, is very important of sure, where that yeah. things comes from, mm. you know. Yeah. yeah. So I'm very big on motives. Like, I don't mind. Like, do what you want, but I'm always gonna ask you. That's why my my content is based on motive. Mm. So if you're saying I don't want a broke man, let's backtrack. What's the motive? Is it something you saw on social media? Is it? Is it? You know. You so for me, of? motive everything. Ooh. And you just touched now on the colorism thing. Mm. Oh, this is my it's favorite conversation to have. Because in any woman, corna kamo, corna kamo. You're a light-skinned woman. Yes. Huh? Yes. I don't know what I am. <laughs> I'm being so honest. Mm. Because I feel like I have friends who are darker than me. I see them yes. as dark-skinned women. Yes. I have friends that are lighter, light-skinned women. Yes. And I've seen the, the drama that comes with being light skinned, being dark skinned, or yes. whatever privileges. I want to ask you in this very moment. Mm. And I get hold I am my baby's gang. Yes, no. Are you aware of your privilege of being no, a light skinned hundred percent. And I wasn't gonna go on a platform and pretend that I don't. Mm. Mm. The reason why I've been making uh, videos about colorism is because I saw my privilege in daylight. Mm. And I have a sister that's dark skin. Oh. And oh. she's one year younger than me, so we're basically twins, mm. but our life experiences were <laughs> completely different. Can you give us like a few examples of that? Okay. Mm. So we had cousins and they called me Nonle, which means pretty, and they called her Nombi, which means ugly. Dead ass. And imagine no, straight up, this like... This is your family. This is family. What? Oh, dude. And then there's also small things like, my sister must wear dark colors. I can wear pink and girly colors because I'm light-skinned. My sister must wear dark colors. So at that oh time, because goodness. I was young, I didn't understand. Mm. I just felt this thing is wrong. I just don't know what it is. I don't feel like my sister should be wearing a different color from me just because she's dark. I don't feel like she should be called ugly because she's dark. I just don't know what oh. you call that thing. So if I had to tell adults, no, don't do that to my sister, stop that, based on what? Mm. Do you understand? I didn't know. So well, the time that I learned about colorism was in 2020 when the whole Black Lives Matter thing came out. Mm, right. So a lot of conversations around black people mm. came and the colorism one came and I was like, yes! I found know. it. I uh. found it. So to be honest, I speak on colorism for my sister because that is beautiful. I know how it feels like to, to not to be dark skin, mm. but how they get treated. I saw it firsthand that this is how you get treated and this is how you know people see you. Mm. Do you think? And I'm trying to think, and I'm honestly trying to apply myself, right? And mm. I'm trying to think as a guy. Or as guys, do we experience this colorism at the same level you guys do? Because I'm really thinking, like, because I'm, I'm a fairly dark, caramelized, handsome yeah. black individual. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, but I'm thinking, like, with all my light-skinned friends, right, all I can remember, all I can ever remember is that the assumption that light-skinned men are sassy and yes, all that. But yes. it's, it's, it's not heavy, man. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's something, there's a deeper level, but it's not... So I'm trying to think, do you guys think it applies to men as well? Because I'm trying to think from my personal experience, and I don't think we have it as bad as you do. Mm. I think with men, it's the other way around. Mm. It's mm. the dark-skinned men that, that get the are privileged, praise. yeah. Uh, it's, versus the light-skinned ones. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Because even the conversation around colorism came from a woman perspective. Because 
when slaves were working in the field, mm. the women, the light-skinned women would work in the houses House. and the dark-skinned oh, women would work with the men God. in the fields. Mm. So the conversation has always been women Based, if I can so put essentially, it this way. thing started with racism. Yes, that's why I explained that's it in it my mm. in my video that mm. like if you have to see it from the racism point of view, so that you can know that things like reverse racism don't work, like mm. they don't mm. exist, and things like reverse colorism they don't exist mm. because it's not just about people not liking Balisa because she's dark skin. Like I get, I'm just not attracted to you. Mm -mm. It's about you not getting opportunities because you're dark skin. Hi, key. Because. I'm not gonna lie, if we had to sit and audition for something, who are they gonna pick first? Girl, <laughs> it, yay. Oh, I don't know. As an actress, Baleza. Oh, Sana, trust and believe us. Like, who are they gonna pick industry. first? Sana. Do you understand? Mm. So, that's why I'm like, a lot of people are so confused. Like, why are you talking about colorism? Girl, you light skin. Must I not care just because I'm light skin? You like, know what must I think I triggers it? Mm. Is that whole thing, uh, Kanyimba and Pearl Tusi, when oh. Pearl Tusi was asking Kanye about her light skin privilege, mm. knowing that Kanye was a dark skinned woman who bleached yes, her skin to, to get those lighter. opportunities. Ish. And then Pearl started crying because of her privilege. How? You're sitting next to a woman who literally bleached her mm. skin to get the same the opportunities same as you. And just because she had, she doubled up on them by doing, by being you essentially. Yes. Are you going to be mad? Don't be Let's mad. even go to the men mm. that I even said, I expressed it fully that a man that is colorist is a man I will never go for. Mm. So for when sure. men are looking at women, mm. the light-skinned one is the one that you see first. Mm. Do you understand? Because that's, that's the standard. Yeah. That's how you feel like. And I don't even have to try. But let's say you can put your makeup and yeah. you can do the most. Yeah. But me, I can just rock up with my sweatpants and Des will want me, not you. That's bad. Because she has to work 10 times harder well, to get to. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. So with you men, like, do you guys have a specific thing where you sit and you're like, hey, but I don't feel like it's fair to look at things in this way. I think a lot, we don't have the conversation just like that. Okay. Right? It's not a, I don't think we should look at uh, dark skinned women the way we do. Nah, mm. I don't even think it's like that. Most men mm. is just like, well, personally, if you're attracted to what you're attracted to, that's just what it is. Mm. But there are some men out there that'll be like, I can't date a girl dark dark as me or darker mm. than me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I need a date lighter so we can complement each other. Mm. That's a thing men have said before. That is insane. You know what I'm saying? That like, I can't date a dark girl. Do you not see the self-hate? It's there. Ooh. It's cooking in beneath. Because what do you mean I can't date a dark girl because my kid's going to be dark? Exactly. What? You know Ooh. what I'm saying? And you're a dark skin and if you liked your skin and you felt like, you know what, I'm a handsome man, exactly. then why don't you want to see it anyone. in a... Yes, yeah. why exactly. don't you want to see that same complexion in a woman? Exactly. And it's like, it's that <laughs> idea that the darker, the better. The, the uglier, uh, eh. the darker the berry, the uglier. The darker the berry, the uglier. You know what I'm saying? Than See, than you? It used to be that. It used to be that, <laughs> right? With yeah. some men, it is. But like, it's just the thing of yo. Oh, some guys like they really don't look to the dark side. Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. It's, 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 oh, <laughs> so I'm sorry, right. I just had to. So I'm funny. sorry, I just had to. But yeah. it's, it's just like that. You know what I mean? I That's think, why I'm always gonna question motive. Like mm. you guys can say it's just preference, but let's backtrack to where your preference yeah. comes from. Mm. Mm. You don't just wake up and have a preference. Mm -hmm. You don't wake up and like KFC. You would have had tasted KFC or you grew up eating KFC. That's why you love KFC. But it smells also nice. Even, <laughs> if, even if you've never had it, you're just like, oh yeah. My yes. yeah. So right. things always have a foundation. Mm. And that's why we need to tackle that foundation so that you make better decisions. Right. So then now when I was when you were saying that like it's different for me and rah, rah, with men, it's not necessarily colorism, it's just stereotype mm. that I just think that dark skinned guys are more manly, like, yeah. you know. And I'm not gonna lie, I had that, that mindset that, like, you know, ah, I texted. Can we be honest? I don't wanna act no, like, hey, experience. I'm all that, Same you know. Yeah. When it came to, with women, I was like, hey, I don't play. But with men, I was like, I, but me. Mm. When I say dark skinned men, I'm Back like, mm. the light on, I'm just like, ah, when I. Uh, uh, Babe. Uh, babe. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if I hit you like this, you're gonna be red. What do you mean? You know those type of things. <laughs> I'm so unhinged. <laughs> so I've always like seen it that way. So that's why I'm apologizing on national TV mm. to say that you know I had those mentalities, but it's stereotypes. It's not yeah. colorism. So. That's why I was like, I even me the 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 stereotype that I have of thinking that you're more manly. As long as you're a man, 
you've got testosterone, mm. you've got a beard, <laughs> and all of that, then you are fine. You're a man. <laughs> you your skin, <laughs> your skin type shouldn't determine, mm. like you know, whether you're a man or not. That's mm. unfair. The same way, my complexion shouldn't determine whether I'm pretty or not, if mm. I can put it that way, or I'm desirable. Word. You know. Mm. Word. Yeah. Wow. No. This is a lot. Lot. It's it's been real. It's been real. Thank you so much, Sihle. Like you've really we've seen sides of you that we didn't think we'd see. We've mm. got to understand who you are for real. Mm. Uh, now we really do appreciate you. Yeah, for we sure. really do. No, I'm grateful that you guys gave me the opportunity to you know oh, showcase this. Absolutely, side. Girl, I feel yeah. like everyone had to hear what you had to say. <laughs> yeah. Not just to listen yeah. to hear, but to listen to understand. Mm. So before you leave us. Mm. Could you please let our audience know where they can find, find you, you on socials and all of that? Yes. Okay, so on Instagram, it's Sihle with three E's and a Y. TikTok, Sihle, three E's and a Y. And then my podcast is also Sihle, three E's and a Y. Um, Twitter, no. Mm -mm. So, yeah. That's hey. <laughs> <laughs> so Twitter. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm grand. So, yeah, that's where you guys can find me and... I feel like, you know, a lot of people would really love my content if you just gave it a chance. So, yeah. guys, I'm here to be a friend. I'm here to be a sister. Mm -hmm. I'm here to be, you know. So, yeah. So, follow me and you guys will find me there. I'll be ready for you. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes, well, sir. from myself, Balisa, and Jez, dear. I thought you were gonna speak with me. Come on! I, I was, I was, I was Say just something. thinking. Like, were you giving me the spotlight? I was giving you the spotlight. I thought you were oh gonna hit friend. us with the. Oh, Nyavo, no, I you thought you were gonna hit us with the young radio. This has been the uh, podcast. Uh -huh. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, guys. On a serious note, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe to comment and share, and don't forget to switch on your notification bell to know when up close has posted. Bye. 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 Did they cut the cameras? I'm tired of waving my hand. I dropped my hands a long time ago. Woo! Let's go home. Wow. What? Are we going home? No, no, no. Not. That was just for the video. <laughs>